to your show when you first started. I used to call in a lot. But then all of a sudden you had this uh, screener named Gabby who was, uh, who dissed me. Uh, you were talking about aliens. And I wanted to ask you what was the deal about uh, the aliens telling the humans that we're not allowed to go on a moon anymore. And then Gabby tells me, oh, we're not taking alien uh, topics anymore. So I hang up and guess what happens? The next call is talking about aliens. Well, anyway, the main thing is your show is pretty much like the same thing that happens in the daytime. Uh, I got a recording here if you want to listen to it. It's you telling me, me, that you want to have, listen, just, 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 just listen. I'm just curious what he thought of it, but thanks for the suggestion there, Charlie. 800 How is in Pennsylvania? Hello, how? Hi there. All right, my idea is that you have a supernatural show, more like what Art Bell did, because Charles Norrie's stuff is pretty watered down. Maybe you even got someone who's even better than Art Bell. And um, I, I did. Well, I'll be honest with you, Hal. I think that's what our owner, John Katsimatini, sort of wants his show to do. So if you have... You don't, even have, you don't even do what your boss wants you to do. I wish you would have well, a supernatural show. Well, Howie or Hal... Um, Coming up at 2.30, you're going to want to hear my interview with Tim Swartz. Again, I've been trying to get Molly and Matt to do a test with him for uh, three days, uh, so hopefully he'll be there. But uh, he is uh, the author of a new book all about how humans and aliens are partnered on a base. And it's...